A sad reality. Many restaurants won't survive this pandemic, but some are hoping to beat the odds and not only survive, but thrive. So this is where we're gonna welcome everybody in. Uh, right to the host desk, we have a takeout counter uh, with all the things, because everyone's doing more takeout nowadays. Chef and owner of Mida Boston, Douglas Williams, is opening a second location of his Roman-style restaurant in Newton. We want to make this space feel airy and welcoming and inviting. Located inside a brand new mixed-use development on Walnut Street, this corner space will eventually seat about 130 guests inside and out on the patio. And then you're gonna hit what we call our dough room. We're gonna make in our fresh gelatos. We're gonna make our pizza dough. We're gonna make our focaccia dough. It's gonna go glass all the way up and you'll be able to peer in. And I love that as a child. I love being a part of you know, a kitchen experience. So I think that maybe as we're new to the neighborhood, we'll be able to give that to the children. Another way Mita Newton will welcome guests is with its own parking lot, a rare amenity in the South End that the suburbs can offer. I picked Newton because I think it is prime for having more restaurants and more nightlife and more accommodation for families and entertaining. You have the bar. The plan to expand here was already in place before the outbreak of COVID-19. But as the pandemic unfolded, Williams decided to keep moving forward and only postpone the opening by a few months. Even though we had to go through some tragedy and some opposition, I think there's a, a way to find some reconciliation as an industry and as a city and as a town. And hopefully we can spread that and bring that to Newton and make even a bigger community. It is an opportunity he does not take for granted. This is incredibly exciting uh, for me. This is a blank dream that I now get to fill in with all my experiences. While that dream is being built, Williams and his team will continue to weather the storm and prepare for sunnier skies. We want to make sure that once the spring comes around that we have this lovely you know, restaurant that's ready and fresh and new but also has some legs to it because we've had so much great experience in the South End. An experience he hopes other restaurants will have as well, despite this most challenging time. No, it doesn't matter if you're struggling, it doesn't matter if you're doing the best you've ever done. You have to come in the middle and kind of and kind of calm the tide for your neighbor. I would like to use, you know, me to success and my success to expand everyone's footprint. Frank Santo is no stranger to opening a restaurant during trying times. Anytime there's a recession, the first thing people cut out is, is dining out. That was a struggle. Santo opened his first, The Local Kitchen and Drinks in West Newton, amid the Great Recession in 2008. The lessons that we've learned was that you always have to deliver value. But it was a lesson that they took their time learning. After 2008, just getting through that, uh, it was a while before we thought it was financially sound to, to open another unit. and you know, getting banks to work with us as well. Santo waited five years before he expanded. Now he's the owner of the Wellesley Restaurant Group that includes the local kitchen and drinks in West Newton, Wayland, Wellesley, and Waltham. Every time someone orders a Coupe de Ville, they get the bell. And in September 2020, the group grew by one more with a new menu and a new name. Casa Loca Mexican Cantina in Westwood. The food is fun, the drinks are fun. The menu is packed with empanadas, Mexican street corn, tacos, burrito bowls, and of course, margaritas. I'm a glass half full kind of guy anyway. We had already started construction when we were shut down. So it was like, let's finish it off and see what happens. Now complete with enough room to seat 180 guests, they will wait and see. I think that the restaurant business will come out of this. My restaurant won't be the only opening you'll see in the next couple months. It's a resilient business. They'll close, but they'll open. The industry is definitely challenged now, but it will survive. I think we'll come out of this stronger and better. Casa Loca is open seven days a week, now offers lunch and brunch on the weekends. And back to Mita Newton, the restaurant's South End location celebrated its fourth anniversary last week with, what else, a lasagna cake. They're now offering catering packages, including special holiday menus as well. Coming up, warm memories in Watertown.